Hey guys, Brad Scott here with day two of the Six Pack Insanity Super Affiliate Training. And um, I was talking about setting up blogs and teaching you guys how to blog, but without first setting it up, um, you're not going to have a blog. So what I use is WordPress. Um, I use GoDaddy.com to buy my domain names. And then I have my hosting through HostGator. So I actually... Um, I bought a domain name to show you guys how to set up the WordPress site and I got um, spidermanworkouts.com from GoDaddy. Okay, so I bought the domain name spidermanworkout.com and I'm going to host it through my HostGator account. So all I need to do in this section, I'm in uh, the domain management section. We're going to scroll down to name servers and we're just going to change these up. So basically when you set up your HostGator account, they're going to give you um, certain name servers that are specific to your HostGator control panel. So I'm just going to put those in, click OK. And like I said, yours will be different than mine. So it could take uh, usually 2 to 48 hours. So that's all set right there. I'm going to go over to my HostGator control panel. And what you need to do <clears throat> is you'll scroll down to um, add on domains. So you're going to put in the new domain name. So uh, mine was Spider Man. Workout. Okay. And you just click on the second box that's going to pull that up for you. Um, I'm going to put in my password that I usually use. Okay. And then uh, I just click add domain right here. Okay. So now. SpidermanWorkout.com is added to my HostGator control panel, but I'm not finished yet. Okay, so now we're here. It's all done. Um, the add-on domain SpidermanWorkout.com has been created. So now what I'm going to do is go back and I'm going to go to home. And we're going to scroll down within the HostGator control panel and we're going to go to Fantastico Deluxe. There's a lot of crap in here that you don't really need to use. I don't use half of it. But this is the one thing that I use all the time. So Fantastico is basically just like the platform to install WordPress onto your site. So I'm going to click on WordPress and I'm going to click new installation um, scroll down to spidermanworkout.com uh, install in open directory it's going to be my main website so I don't want a certain blog or anything like that um, administrator um, I'm just going to put uh, Brad Scott And then I'm going to put in my password. I'm not going to show you that though, so I'm just going to pause it for a second. Okay, so I've put uh, basically all my password in and everything. I put my account nickname, something easy to remember, my email, and then the site name, Spiderman Workout. We can write the description later um, with what we're going to do. So I just click install Word and it finished the installation. Okay. So we'll just click that. And then what it's going to give us is basically the, um, the dashboard for the WordPress, which you're going to use to write all your pages, all your posts, all that good stuff, and edit the whole website, put your theme in, all that good stuff. So we're going to click on that. <clears throat> And if it hasn't, if it hasn't been already, uh, at least an hour or two uh, since you've changed your name servers on your 
um, GoDaddy domain name, then you're probably going to be pulled up to a page like this. So you got to wait maybe a couple hours or so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait, and then I'll resume the recording and show you guys the rest of the steps to get your your uh, WordPress blog and site looking really nice and uh, all set up. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, the domain name has been all set up with the name servers now. It's been about a few hours so it's all good to go. This is um, what it's going to look like when you come up to your uh, WordPress dashboard to build your site. Okay, So I've put in um, this is where you put in the information that you used when you set it up in the HostGator account. Okay, so put in your username and your password that you had set up in there. And it's a good thing to like try and keep track of all this stuff. Write it down on a piece of paper in a in a file. Um, it'll say "Welcome to your new WordPress site." So, first thing I want you to do before you start writing any posts or writing any pages or doing anything is go over to settings and go down to permalinks and I've already done this but um, usually it'll be set to default here and what happens is um, this is really bad for SEO because when you write your posts you want it to be something like spidermanworkout.com um, Andrew Garfield uh, Spider-Man workout. So Andrew Garfield Spider-Man workout would be the keyword that I'm trying to target. Um, so you want the post name to be actually in here. So change it to post name. So then the URL up up here will be spidermanworkout.com slash Andrew Garfield Spider-Man workout. Um, so it's better for SEO. The SEO uh, little crawlers can read that name instead of just having numbers that make no sense to him and you'll be uh, finding yourself ranking a little better if you do that so just go ahead um, click post name click save changes okay and then I use optimize press for my theme it's a paid theme um, it's unbelievable for building squeeze pages sales pages launch funnels and you can put a blog on there as well. So um, I highly advise you use that theme. I think it's around $97 and you can use it on as many sites as you want. So it's totally worth it. Um, I've already uploaded it, but I'm just going to show you how to do that. Go to Appearance, Themes. And usually uh, as soon as you install your WordPress, they'll give you this 2011 theme. It's okay, but it's kind of boring. You can't do anything with it really. So, I've already installed the Optimize Press. Um, Optimize Press is really good at giving you tutorials on how to install everything. But you would just go to Install Themes, and you can either look up themes. So, um, let's search for, say, a theme that's. Um, Let's do custom menu, and we can do theme options. Click find themes, and this is if you just want to do a free one, and it'll pull up all these different themes. So you just kind of look at um, ones that you like and pick those. But if you're wanting to go, to go um, and be able to really make money online you want to go with something that you can build squeeze pages with um, and that has good SEO built into it so I would go with Optimize Press so I've already installed Optimize Press and I've made a a banner on Picasa Picasa is a free program it's actually owned by Google um, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the site that I've built I haven't written any posts or anything yet, so it's still really plain. So I made a little banner. It's just super quick one I made just to show you guys. Um, I've set it so the blog is the home page. Uh, I put this can be your opt-in form for your blog. So usually I put a opt-in form right here. And let's actually take you over to 
my main site, Six Pack Insanity, and we'll go to blog. So this is what you, your site would look like if it's all set up already. Just taking a sec to load. Okay, so I've got my pages up here. I've got my blog post that I use to drive in traffic. Okay, um, my opt-in form right here, so people can do that. And then I've got banner ads pretty much the whole way down. Okay. Um, this is what I send people to if I'm just sending them straight to, from my emails. But if someone just goes to sickpackinsanity.com, I've got it set up as a um, a squeeze page. So once they've opted in, it'll go to my sales page and it'll it'll hey guys, go through a whole funnel. Okay, so then it goes to my main sales page, so I could get more sales. And this is the page that you guys, your affiliate link goes to right here. So if you want to set up your own squeeze pages, I highly recommend um, using Optimize Press for that. And I'll make a whole nother tutorial for you um, another day on that, okay? Because squeeze pages are very important to making money online. You want to be able to capture those emails so you can market to them at least uh, two or three times a week all right but um, that's basically all you need to know about installing your WordPress theme guys you've got your post here this is where you're gonna make your blog posts you just click add new you put your main keyword that you want to target as your title with maybe a couple words around it and make sure um, you have an image with your alt text being that that same so I'm just gonna upload let's go desktop real fast and we'll upload an image this guy so say my um, my main keyword I'm trying to target is Andrew Garfield Spider-Man workout I want to put it for the image title and then we can go ahead and put this link to whatever affiliate program you're trying to sell okay so let's just go sixpackinsanity.com of course that's buy and um, we'll insert it into the post so now that's good for SEO as well. And you want to kind of sprinkle your keyword throughout the article. Uh, make sure your keyword is in the first line and the last line of your blog post. And also make sure you have your, your um, within your post you want it linking to another page within your site. And all that will be good for SEO. Okay. Um, optimize how... Uh, Optimize Press has great SEO built into it, so you just do like Andrew Garfield Spider Man workout. That was my main keyword. Put a little bit about what the post is about in here, and then put all your keywords that you'll find on uh, the Google Keyword Tool right in here. Also, put your keywords in the tags here. But I uh, hope you like this video, guys. Go ahead and start blogging um, try and do a blog post every day if you can and just find those keywords that you want to try and target go ahead and write a blog post with that main keyword being the uh, the focus and you'll be able to start ranking for some pretty good keywords there I'll see you next time guys bye